Maxwell is ready. Maxwell, Agbagba, good morning to you. And, and where are you currently with the protesters? Hello, Maxwell. Hello, Maxwell. Hello, Maxwell. Hello, Maxwell. Mm. And uh, Maxwell is, li is also part of um, the team that is covering the demonstration or the protestation match led by Adum FM's Captain Smart. Of course, he worked with the multimedia group. And Captain Smart has a segment on the show in which he looks uh, at various um, reports of the Auditor General, but also critical information that is brought to him by his own sources uh, on acts of perceived corruption, especially taking place in public offices across the country. And then he tries to um, elaborate on them, gives a lot more information on the subject and tries to entail the, uh, the heads of those institutions to go after the corporate, so to speak, allegedly, in, in, in some of those instances. And now, four million of that was used yeah. for the procurement. Four million was shared. And uh, we, we have Maxwell already. Maxwell, good morning to you. Hello, Roland. Where are you yeah, Roland, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. I can see that you're walking on the street. Where are you Hello? and where are you headed? Hello. Go ahead, Maxwell. You are not hearing me from the What are you hearing from the street? What are you hearing? Is that what it said? Huh? Is that what it said? I can see it. Yeah, hello, Fred. And it's also because we, we, we use um, voice over IP, and so sometimes when... I think, I think te technology, when, technology... Yes, technology when you have a lot more people in a certain satellite area, it tends to bring... Technology some sometimes can be yes. very challenging. Actually. Okay, so we have four, um, so four million was shared. Uh, yeah. And how... Didn't they go through due diligence and trying to... You see, uh, I'm sure when you hide under national security, you can do a lot of things. I mean, uh, I'm not too sure the level of forensic auditing that goes into national security operations. I'm not too sure how we look at it. Nonetheless, it's a, an institution which is supposed to belong to the state. Um, and, and it's supposed to ensure that um, there's sanit I mean, sanity in our system in terms of you know, the rot and all that. Um, to have had an institution like this, kind of used, you understand? To, to, to allow some people share, if you like, what belongs to Mother Ghana. I mean, it was quite unfortunate. Well, so Maxwell Agbagba is ready. And uh, Maxwell had been uh, trying to get the link into the studio, and now he's ready to give us some of the narrations from the event itself. <laughs> We're giving to you live pictures from 
the protesters, led by Adum FM's Captain Smart, and uh, he started leading them from the Kwame Nkrumah uh, interchange area, heading through some principal areas of Accra, and we know that finally they will be converging at the offices of the uh, IOKO, that is the Economic and Organized Crimes Office. And um, it's all as part of his efforts in galvanizing support for IOKO as well as other public institutions responsible for rooting out uh, anti-corruption in public service to make sure that especially content or reports of the Auditor General are critically looked at. And um, in, in, in parlance, they will say that Faber was of anti-corruption demonstration is a segment that is uh, also hosted by Captain Smart of Adum FM. And Adum FM is part of the multimedia group uh, as part of uh, his galvanization of not only his listeners, but members of the public who indeed support a cause to make sure that all individuals and organizations who have embezzled allegedly monies belonging to the state return the monies and then the institutions that are also expected to be responsible for those actions take critical uh, initiatives that will enable those individuals and organizations face the full rigors of the law. And Maxwell Agbagba is part of our team uh, of uh, the media that is covering this event for you. It started uh, from the Kwame Nkrumah interchange area. It's heading through some notable street of Accra and ultimately led by Captain Smart of Adum FM, they will converge at the offices of Yoko, that's the Economic uh, Organized Crime Office, and they will, I'm sure, present a petition to leading officers or managers of Yoko. And we know that is an initiative started by the man himself, Captain Smart, and um, is an event, I'm sure, being covered widely by uh, many media organizations in our country. Uh, thousands of people rallied by Captain Smart just through his medium on Adum FM and tells you the power of the media and what can be used uh, or what the media can be used to ensure that adequately we are in a better stead as a country, as a society. We'll see how that goes as far as this is concerned. Well, we've, we're already seeing placards and it says that uh, uh, these this nonsense must stop. We have others saying that um, uh, we need our gargantuan money and uh, corruption must stop and other words printed on the placards hoisted by the various protesters. We have all manner of people from all walks of life who have who started uh, conveying and we already know that uh, Captain Smart is leading the initiative, and you can see him in the middle there in an all black with a, a red band. Of course, I have my producer in the studio, Derek, of course, I'm also, if you can see him, you can see him. He's also having a red band, and <laughs> it's a sight to behold. It's part of an initiative by Captain Smart, and he's rallied thousands of people. They are marching, they started marching from the Kwame Nkrumah interchange area. They are moving through some principal streets of Accra and they finally will be converging at the offices of Yoko here in Accra and they'll be presenting, I believe, a petition. Uh, this was adequately uh, put before the police. The requisite permits were sorted out and they have the permission to do what they are doing today. It's a full march in protest for alleged monies embezzled uh, belonging to the state that need to be returned to the state and more so officials who are complicit allegedly in some of those events uh, brought to book. Maxwell Agbaba speaking. As you can see, uh, we don't just have the local press here with us. Um, the international media is also here making sure um, that they uh, get some information or cover the event as well. The police is also here. Let me speak to uh, some of the protesters. Sir, what's your name? My name is Alfred Boateng. Alfred Boateng, Alfred, tell me, why are you part of this man? What, what is the motivation for you? Because I finished school almost getting to five years. I'm still at home. I don't get any I've taken almost the whole country's money without doing anything to it. That's why I'm here today. Now, you said you've completed school. How many years? Nine years. 
Nine years, so you've been looking for a job. Yes, I'm still at home. I'm not doing nothing. But what, is the connection? what really do you think is the connection between you getting a job and then, you know, corruption? What really is the connection? I know, sir, if you get this money, the government can use to create jobs. Mm. And we can, you can get a, a lot of jobs to do in this country. Mm. Because most of the youth are not working in the country. Yeah. The robberies and the stealing and everything is here in Ghana here. No? It's mm. almost because of someone collecting all the money. Mm. Okay. That's why I'm here, I'm here today. What's your name again? Alfred Boatin. Alfred Boatin. Thank you very much, Alfred Boatin, for speaking to us. He says um, he's been with school for about nine years. He still doesn't have a job. And that is motivation to be part of this man. Let's speak to you. Sir, what's your name? I'm Erica Samoa. Erica Samoa, what yeah. do you do? Oh, I'm a, I'm a businessman. A businessman. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tell me, what is the motivation for you? Somebody says he's done with school for our nine years. He still does not have a job. And he thinks that government can channel resources into other areas that will get jobs for people like him. But because there's corruption, he's unable to get a job. That, what is that, the motivation that, for that, you? That, that, that's the main reason why we are here. People are doing this thing as a politics. It's not about NDC or MPP. What the people have done, we have to come together and make sure that we get our money. But do that. Government can invest this money. People can get jobs to do. So I'm employing those who are in the house. They should all come and join us. So that the government will see that we are we are we are, we are our eye is red. Yeah, we are telling Aku Fado too. That what we want is to take our money for us. Whoever has invested the money into different business is to make sure he sees the business. Tell the people. Then by that, so do we, we can cut corruption out of Ghana. It's, it's a huge match. Um, I really want to get uh Close up. The main organizer for this event, the last time that something similar happened was on May 6th, when Ivan Nelson organized a sub about a year to the main Captain Smart right now. Captain, Captain, you're welcome to join. Thank you, my brother. Captain, tell me, what is the motivation for organizing a match like this? My brother, Ghanaians are dying. The youth have no jobs. We are suffering in this country. Corruption is killing Ghana. We don't have to borrow to develop the country. We need our money back. We need our money back. Tell me, you, uh, you, you went to the Auditor General's report, and day after day, back to back, you are coming out with a rot, you know, in the system. Tell me, which one hit the most? I have one which an official actually uses 1,000 citizens. I mean, it's so crazy and it's so annoying. Somebody, his monthly salary is just 450 Ghana cities. And you can use 1,000 Ghana cities to buy your hair. Is this not madness, my brother? The youth of this country have had enough. And we want to say that this is the last time the nonsense must stop. Great. So tell me, uh, where are we heading to now? I understand we are going to the Yoko office. What is going to happen at the UOCO office? Well, when we get to UOCO, we have all the documents, all those that we investigated, the other documents we have, and the Auditor General's report. We present to UOCO them to investigate, arrest, and prosecute. Captain, there are some who are also saying that this is going to be part of the usual rhetoric. It's a normal talk. It's a normal work. We are not going to see any change. We are not going to see any change in a role. How well do you think this protest is going to drive home the message that you are sending. My brother, be aware that this is the very first and generally and to everybody listen. And we but say general crusade. But then you must be of that a mob of crowd right now right behind all of them with uh, you know a common decision to fight so happy I've because now it's a sign that Ghanaians are fed up with corruption the youth are fed up with corruption and I want to stop He's a brain behind this. And now you can see the crowd. In fact, I want to read to you um, some of the placards that we have here. Um, Sunday, we are.
about corruption. Come, come closer to me. Now tell me, what's your motivation to be part of this, um, this, uh, this protest? I, I, I beg you. Pictures. And uh, we know that the man that Maxwell Agbaba just spoke to, Captain Smart of Adum FM, and we know Adum FM is one of the subsidiaries of the multimedia group, uh, has started an initiative to also galvanize support on the subject of anti-corruption, especially individuals and organizations uh, who are said to have had links with uh, acts and omissions that are said to have uh, resulted in the country losing money or some resources, especially also those captured in the Auditor General report, as he usually would reiterate on that segment of his program, uh, are part of this initiative. It's an initiative which started on that medium that has led to the galvanization of um, thousands of people onto the street of Accra. It started from the Kwame Nkrumah Circle Interchange area, is um, heading through some principal streets of Accra, and ultimately they will be converging at the forecourt or the frontages of the offices of Yoko. And we know that Yoko is one of the foremost anti corruption bodies we have in our country. And Captain Smart is leading the initiative alongside not only some individuals, but also heads of some organizations in our country to make sure that individuals, as well as organizations that have been named on, in issues of alleged corruption or embezzlement of state funds, tend one, to return their monies and then governize support to make sure that institutions that are expected to take those actions against those individuals and organizations tend to do that appropriately within the remit of the regulations or the anti-corruption laws that we have in our country. And Maxwell Agwagba is the head of the team that is covering this event for us here on Joy News. And he has been giving to us great interviews, not only from the protesters, but also the man himself, as you can see, um, uh, just pounding his fist up in the air. On one hand, also hoisting the Ghana flag, Captain Smart of Adum FM, and Adum FM, a subsidiary of the multimedia group, used that platform to galvanize thousands of people, including tra traditional leaders who are uh, flanking him as they march towards um, the various areas of Accra, certain designated routes, following the permission of the Ghana Police Service and with police protection, ultimately um, will be converging at the frontages of the offices of Yoko here in Accra. And so this live event is also being covered by, I should tell you, various media organizations in Accra and elsewhere across the country. Uh, it is, it's been dubbed the Fabawoso anti-corruption demo and so Captain Smart is leading that initiative. And, and come on, you should say that uh, a good initiative, nonetheless. An excellent initiative. Um, this is just to tell us that Ghanaians are not um, lagging behind at all when it comes to knowing what the law says or what their right actually is. I think under the Fundamental Human Rights, Chapter 5 of our Constitution, it's clear that demonstration or this action that they are actually going, I mean, on with is 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 is, is, a, is allowed by 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 our laws and i'm happy that multimedia and for that matter captain smart of adum fm is um championing this um the media as the fourth realm of um the estate of the realm. estate or fourth, fourth estate of the realm um in terms of governance um, should not be seen to be behind at all. It should be rather be part of what we, we, we can do as a country to get to the promised land. It's so important. So I'm happy about this initiative and I'm, um, I must commend the organizers. I must also commend 
the multimedia group for allowing their cameras to be there to project or to, if you like, sell this mm -hmm. out to many who, of course, will not because we know that Captain do. Smart is just yes. he is just doing this as, as an individual. Oh wow, that's that's mm. that's a very that's mm. a great move. Mm. That's a very great move. I I I think we should we should we should we should even if we if we can we should replicate this in almost all the televisions. You have you see coordinating directors at the district level, at the regional level. I'm talking about local governors, and you have institutions and agencies of government or if you like, companies of government, also sometimes decentralized. What these managers do, what these coordinating directors do, what budget officers do, what planning officers do, we are not privy to many of them. Now, in most of the regions and districts, let us take these matters down there to create that awareness that, look, anyone who dips his hand into the, nation, the, the nation's coffers, of course, will not be left out and will be dealt with by law. And I, 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 think, I, I think it's just an excellent thing that the um, multimedia, um, Adam TV, all of them have done. I commend them and mm. I wish them well. Okay. However, government should not also stop at implementing what they see as their petition to government. All right. So we go over to Matua Lagwagba and he's speaking to a member of Occupy Ghana. And, in, and then after that, we'll also speak to a, a member of Occupy Ghana on phone. We should also bear in mind that Captain Smart is doing this jointly with some uh, such civil society organizations Great. and some individuals. Great. Okay. And then we also have on the line Nana Sapong Ajimambedu, who is a member of Occupy Ghana. Good morning to you, sir. Good morning to you. Uh, yeah, good morning. Yeah, Nana, good morning to you. And um, we know that you are doing this uh, jointly also with uh, Captain Smart. I, 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 is that the case? Hello. Good morning to you, Nana Sapong Najimabidu. Yeah, good morning. Good morning to you. And um, are you doing, doing this jointly with um, Captain Smart? Um, we support the initiative that uh, Captain Smart has taken upon himself to a petition to Yoko on these uh, corrupt uh, practices which have come to the fore. At the end of the day, we also know that galvanizing people onto the street takes a lot of res resources and, and, and trying to marshal all of them onto the principal streets and through to those areas onto the front or the foyer of the offices of uh, the Yoko is it, it, also part of creating the awareness. For Occupy Ghana and then Captain Smart and the rest of the individuals who are supporting the initiative um, by way of the solidarity. Uh, how do we do this often and making sure that what we do is translated into action? All right. Um, first of all, um, it depends on the kind of issues. Because I remember when I, I, I organized Occupy Plaza with some friends, we used very, very little resources. However, it was about the passion of the people who came out that day you know, uh, take part in such uh, an activity because of the issue that was being addressed. So um, for us, we believe that it's all about the passion of people, the citizens getting involved in uh, the governance process, people not sitting alone, people no more sitting on the fence. And with the media now, you know, coming out forcefully, you know, to put out these issues and make people much more aware of it, 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 it in a way would get more people involved in uh, being interested in what's going on with their resources, with their taxes that they pay, you know. So um, we, we believe it's a good thing that um, Captain Smart is doing, uh, that more people should also get involved and, you know, be interested in it and get to know exactly how their taxes are being spent. And, you know, the kind of people that are, you know, heading such certain state institutions who are being uh, profligate in their expenditure. We know the role that civil society plays and also the media, of course, and, and even such individuals like Captain Smart. But at the end of the day, we're told time and time again that we have laws that I, ideally should be inhibiting people from committing such allegedly uh, crimes to the state and also those losses to the state. Why do we have some of these things consistently recurring? It's because of the political will to implement such laws. I mean, if you know that Occupy Ghana for some time now, we've been uh, as loggerheads with the auditor because of the fact that they've not been 
implementing um, a section of the law which the Amman, you know, act support. But um, thankfully, um, the current Minister General has decided to show that leadership and wants to start working, you know, with us to help him implement such uh, laws, that, you know, fund, which he's mandated to do. So it's all about the person who has the institution, and it's all about they being uh, fully resourced, uh, financed by government to be able to do their work well. Because, I mean, without the money, there's very little much they can do. And also without the right people at certain places, you can't do so much. So we, we, we also have to, I think some, there are some schools of thought that say that some of these institutions must not be political appointments, but people should, they should be advertised for people to apply to come and do the work. And in that case, there will be more accountability to the people rather than to the appointing power. Mm. So at the end of the day, we, uh, we're having you uh, and the Captain Smart himself and a number of the individuals who are leading the protesters present a petition to Yoko. And then what happens thereafter? Um, we would expect the Yoko to take the petition seriously because um, if, 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 it seems, if it seems that the Yoko is not really acting and being proactive, um, that, that, that would actually you know, create this kind of... Um, um, what was the word? That will make people begin to feel that, I mean, the system can no more work. We have to get our system to work. And I believe Yoko and other state agencies who are in the forefront of protecting the state should be very proactive in uh, the work that they do. So I think Yoko should take the petition, study it seriously, investigate further, and if there should be any prosecutions, then they should go ahead with it, with uh, advice from the Attorney General's office. Mm. The Occupy Ghana, you're supporting Captain Smart on this initiative. Which other organizations also have taken it up on themselves to support Captain Smart on the subject? Um, we, for that, we, we can't tell. Um, right. But um, that, that we, we would rather encourage more musicians to throw their weight behind uh, this. I mean, it's a citizenship engagement thing which makes us, you know, more responsible citizens and, you know, sit on a loop. So mm. we'll encourage more organizations to throw their weight behind the demonstration. And we hope that the demonstration is also, also goes on peacefully and that no incidents will be reported after. Okay, with Occupied Ghana, we've had uh, on the line Nana Sapong Ajiman Bidu, and uh, they fully support Captain Smart. Uh, on the subject, and we know Captain Smart is uh, with Adum FM, and um, he is doing this as an individual, just an initiative he started to make sure that uh, he galvanize uh, people. And we can see from the pictures that Maxwell Agbagba and the rest of the team from Joy News bring in to you, uh, thousands of people galvanized onto the streets. They started from the Kwame Nkrumah interchange area. They have um, alerted the police about certain designated routes they're going to take leading to the offices of uh, Iyoko. And at uh, the offices of Iyoko, they are going to uh, present a petition to them. Maxwell Agawa is still having some interactions. I was in CSE. CSE? Yeah, 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 but now I was talking about... What's the name of the ministry? I mean, international ministry. Okay, so you're a pastor. Yeah. Um, and usually when you go onto the pulpit to preach, I know a lot of you preach against corruption and all of that. How, 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 what's your level of disgust for the rocks in the system? You know what? We are pastors and we preach. With the church members, when they come to church, they, they even coalesce, they don't have it. So men of God, nowadays we are suffering. We are suffering. So I, I, I'm reading with the government. Nanado, Ekufado, you have to do something. The, the new this thing that you have to, uh, the, uh, I don't know, justice or whatever you want to separate. You have to bring that thing now for, for, for the government to do something. Our money is just lost in the mixing. Look at what people are doing this day. How can a human being just eat money in, oh my God, that it, uh, I, I don't know what to say. You know, but uh, corruption is not just about politics. Yeah. Even in the church also. Yeah. There are some pastors who are also corrupt just like politics. Yes. Yeah. What do you say about uh, I, I, I don't know. It's a human nature. So before we can just drive this thing, unless God come in and we change our mentality and our attitude, except that nothing we can do for ourselves. And even the church, now you see people, 
departed from the church and started their own ministry. All about what? Money. Money. So if we don't remove that kind of concerns and money concerns from our mentality, there's nothing we can do. Like that. There's nothing we can do for ourselves. So this nation, I'm not a politician. I'm common a revenue minister. So now, now, I'm breathing with the government and the, and the authorities. They have to bring some things that can able to sustain this nation. That's what I would say now. That's what I'm saying. I mean, the main thing for this um, work, for this protest, is against corruption, as you've rightly stated. Yes. There are some people who say that even in a church also. I mean, there's, uh, there's some kind of commercialization of God's work. Yes. To the extent that when you enter a church, if you, if you, if you are not rich, sometimes you're not be, you know, when things are happening in the church, you're not allowed to be part of it. So people who have benefited, benefited from some corrupt practices come to the church, and in the church, they are shielded. They are the ones who get the best in terms of prayers and all of that. And the tithe. Uh -huh. I, I have a problem with the men of God. Somebody is the church, and the person can do anything that he wants. And if this guy just come, whereby he have money, when the church is doing something, they'll go there and invite the person, and the person may come and give a big, huge amount of money. But you don't know the man, the source of it, where the guy gets the money. Yes, for me, I do that. For me, I do that because I don't know the source of where you get your money from. And you bring tight, maybe 10,000 Ghana. I may call you as a revenue minister and find out, hey boy, where did you get this money from? Or what do I have to visit you in your workplace? And I, I will make every possible means to know the type of the job that you are doing. Neither I will question you. You understand? So I, I will greet with the pastors. And you have this great man of God in this Ghana. There's nothing they will say about this thing. Okay. Pastor Isaac Tete. Good afternoon. Thank you very much um, for speaking. Let me, speak. it's, it's, let me say that it's not here. I actually have a here with me. Um, he's a To be part of this match. Yeah. Why did you, did you take part in this? Okay. Yeah, um, I mean, so far back to the which that he would never come and change the name. Trying to get some feedback from the protesters, and we know that Captain Smart. As an individual is doing this, but also he's a host of um, a show on Adum FM and used also the, the platform to make sure that he uses his um, followers to galvanize support. Thousands of people who have followed Captain Smart on this initiative uh, just to galvanize support, uh, an anti corruption crusade in a certain way. And, and you say that uh, it's an initiative which seems to have gotten the momentum that is needed to perhaps also. Um, empathize with government on its drive for anti-corruption in these early days of the Nanado led administration. Yeah, I think it's a very good, a good thing, and I must also commend the um, civil society um, organizations that are part of the, this initiative. What I like about this um, arrangement is that you don't see politicians there. I mean, we tend to read politics into so many things that happens in this country. I'm happy that not a single politician have us cited yet. Um, it doesn't mean that we are not also Ghanaians and we don't also support what is happening. But at least we get political colorization given to it. And when that happens, it will lose its significance. Um, I'm happy that many of us who are even home or those who are home and watching will be part of this particular fight. The point is that I have cited many examples and said that, look, if these monies were, um, you know, used for a worthy cause, we don't have been where we are today. And I think that is um, why they are actually crying for those monies to be retrieved. Once again, I would call on the, 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 the government of the day not to, you know, treat this with some uh, <laughs> um, light hands. We should make sure that petitions that come before them pointing at areas where rot is taking place or rot has taken place. Investigate it. 
and eat whatever is there and make sure that we go for our monies. That is the reason why these thousands of people are on the street, pour themselves out there to make sure that this is happening. So government of the day, please, if whoever is found holding our money, whoever is found, you know, um, chopping our money, if, if chopping is the word anyway, <laughs> um, uh, let's go after that person. Let us not allow Captain Smart and Co. to shed off, you know, their, 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 yeah, their, their toil and sweat. Their toil and sweat for nothing. Mm. We should support them. We should make sure that we go after these people and get the money. You know when this Ibrahim Mahama Mata came out, that some money wasn't paid to the GRA and all that. The next moment, checks or bankers drafts were written. Were prepared for payment to be done. So I asked myself, if you knew you had the money to pay, what stopped you from paying in the first place? What stopped you from paying in the first place? So that, Roland, today, I import into this country a vehicle. I can go give them a procedure check and say, well, I'll pay later and pick my vehicle and go away. Roland, will you, will you get that to happen as a common person? It's not possible. Myself, it's not possible. A businessman leaves the job, the money's there. I mean, the, the goods there don't have money to go pay for the duty and going around to borrow money to go pay. And if you are not careful, the next moment they tell you that, look, your time has really expired and that the goods have actually gone into the government's, um, you know, bonded warehouses and all that. Okay, I mean, basically, the, the society needs to be cleansed. We need to have a very clean system where we're going to help ourselves. Otherwise, we, we, we're really going to be backward and we're really going to be where we, we are. And it's, it's, it's so sad. Well, yeah. thanks for joining me this morning. And um, I've had in the studio Kamal Dean Abdul Abdullahi. He's the MPP's National Nas Nasara Coordinator. He, he should have been in the studio uh, with uh, Victor Kujoga Dawudu. He is a legal practitioner member of uh, the NDC's legal team as well. But he called the last minute because of also of an emergency that he had. Uh, we have to say we wish him speedy recovery on the subject. But uh, we still um, will be bringing to you live coverage of that demonstration. Uh, galvanizing thousands of people from various walks of life, uh, starting from the Kwame Nkrumah Circle interchange area, and now walking through or marching through some principal streets of Accra, and Captain Smart, uh, a journalist, a broadcaster uh, with Adum FM, uh, making sure that those people he's galvanized, including organizations, civil society organizations, as well as those individuals, are marching towards the offices of the Economic Organized Crimes Office. And it is where they are going to present a petition to the management or the head of that institution. And it's about um, alleged um, corruption or embezzlement by some individuals and organizations on state monies. And those um, monies need to be returned to the state. Essentially, that's the reason why we have this demonstration put together by Captain Smart. And uh, we have to take a break. When we come back, uh, we'll bring you a lot more from the Kwame Nkrumah uh, Circle Interchange area. But currently, um, the protesters marching through some principal streets of Accra and ultimately heading to the Yoko offices in central Accra. Do stay up. So we're still uh, bringing to you that um, sight and sound and the activities of uh, the protesters of mm -hmm. the Kwame Nkrumah Circle. Well, they're from the Kwame Nkrumah Circle now going through some principal streets. you have some messages you want to read on uh, Yeah, I, I, I want to be, now that everything is about this demonstration that's happening this mm, morning. You seem to if, have if taken you, over the airwaves. Yeah, in, exactly. In the it's, it's taking over, I think, the agenda for today, really. Uh, uh, for those of us uh, here in Accra, but there's, a, there's uh, somebody that we need to speak to on the phone. And then if you want to send us a message on what's happening with Captain Smart and what he's leading today, please uh, send us WhatsApp or SMS uh, via text. But Dr. Isaac Owusu Mensah is a political scientist with the University of Ghana. And he joins us via phone to do a, a little analysis uh, on what's happening with Captain Smart leading uh, you know, some listeners uh, of Adum FM uh, to present a petition to Iyoko. Good morning, Doc. Thanks for your time this morning. Good morning, my dear mm. sister. 
Uh, I wonder what you make of this whole agenda being set uh, by Captain Smart of Adum FM. Thank you very much. I think, as we all know, citizens of this country contribute to the development of the country by payment of taxes and the use and misuse of their resources. Mm -hmm. So if any citizen at any point in time thinks that there is some abuse of the power given to the state or any person appointed to step with the state, the fellow has the right either to write a petition to an organization or to call for a demonstration or even to go to court to compel institutions who are supposed to persecute such people or institutions who are supposed to perform certain functions and they are not performing according to him or her view, the fellow has the right to do that. So mm -hmm. if uh, Captain Smart of the Adum FM and of, of Multimedia and the people have organized people to go on demonstrations to uh, present their petition to the organization, uh, to responsible for persecution, I think they have the right to do that. Mm. But a number of questions are also very important. Whether they have evidence and evidences, whether people have really abused and misused their office, that is very, very important at the end of the day. Because corruption may be seen as a perception. <laughs> oh, before you were coming to government, you had only one house. Now you have spent four years in government, you have two uh, houses. It means that you have abused your office that was given you. It may not necessarily be in that context at any point in time. So I also think that it's important that as we make a lot of uh, views or we create impression that people are squandered and abuse public officers, we must also have some evidence. If he has, very good. But if he hasn't gotten the evidence, they're just based on the views and perspective of express. That cannot be the right thing. Mm. But uh, is, this, is this almost also some form of pressure uh, on this new administration as well to uh, prosecute corrupt persons? Yeah, of course. Uh, it's a form of pressure on the new uh, administration as well. The one thing that we must also recognize that when one government changes another government, there's always a rush or oh, prosecute the previous government officials because we have abuse their office or the uh, industrial government resources. But it's really important that the new government have to be very careful in gathering all the evidences that they have, else they will rush to court and they will get up embarrassing to themselves. I'm sure all of us remember very well when uh, the SNC President Lord came to power of pleasant uh, memory, there were a lot of rushing to court. And at the end of the day, oh, nobody was uh, Killed or nobody was found culpable of abuse or misuse in office. And at the end of the day, those who have really done that will not be sent to the court because they were afraid of further embarrassment. So if a new government has come to place, it's important that you have to take their time to dot all the T's and go across all the T's and dot all the I's to ensure that anybody that they are taking to the law court has really abused his or her office. Mm. There is a pressure on the new government. It's a good thing that journalists uh, are taking uh, uh, matters into their own hands and taking up some some of these actions uh, by themselves. What do you what do you make of this new trend? I mean, if this is going to be a new trend where hosts of shows can decide that the news that comes to us every day uh, is almost frustrating us, and on behalf of the people who are listening to us. We're leading a course like this. If we were all to take up actions like that, what do you think would happen to our society? I think it's important that every stakeholder, and as you already said, the media is a very important stakeholder, take up such responsibility and also be involved in uh, getting government or getting the state to do the needful. But we must also be very watchful that uh, the media is supposed to provide a watchdog role. So if the media is leading the agenda of the state, then they will lose their core mandate of being the watchdog. For instance, as this event is going on now, led by the media, or led by a person or a personality in the media, or led by a journalist at the end of the day, who is watching that to ensure that the right thing is being done? I will propose that it's good that the media continue to uh, uh, contribute to the setting of the agenda. But the media should not lose its focus of being the watchdog. Because if the media continues to set the agenda, then who watch the, the, who watch the state at the end of the day? So 
when the news comes to you and you are frustrated, one and foremost that just the other institutions that are involved in that. But the watchdog role of the media must not be lost. If you lose mm. the watchdog role of the media, then we are then uh, we are gone. Mm. I'm sorry to see that. Uh, um, uh, almost closer with the conversation with you. What do you make of the kind of support that he's receiving? Uh, I'm not sure if you, if you've been able to watch because we're showing on television now the kind of crowd uh, that he is getting along on a march to Ioko. Yes, uh, I, I watched some of the on the uh, what do you call Facebook Live. Okay, uh, I, I saw it on Facebook Live, and I realized that your as, as of the time I watched, there were a number of uh, people that were joining. Okay. It's now, it's a I massive think. crowd now. It's a massive crowd now, I must tell you. That means that he has a lot of support or people are really also supporting the idea of the, putting some form of pressure on the new administration to, to, to get involved with people who have abused or misused their office. That is the only day. But it's also important to remember that there's a lot of frustrations in the system and you can easily mobilize people on a very important issue. Mm. And mm. I would say that as we mobilize people to do this, it should not just be the end here. You should not just go and present the petition to Yoko and that's it. As I said, you can also go to court at the end of the day. I have presented a, a petition to this institution to do this. We have to be able to do it. Call, mm. Please call them for them to answer to us. Why are not able to do ABC? But in this country, one of the problems we have is the question of follow-up. We set up the agenda, but we at least and I think it's full of mm. Finally, uh, Dr. Usu Mensa, uh, I worry about political colorization. And I, I, I worry that some people will begin to also put different meanings to this uh, initiative by Captain Smart. What do you say? Oh, well, I think you run the, 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 the word as the news comes through and you are frustrated and all that. When you talk about political uh, Whatever it is, do, people will give a meaning to it at the end of the day. But the point is that people say maybe he's doing that for this party or doing that for that party. I don't think that that's where we have to go. We have to look at the issue as it is. Some of us, as you know very well, we have suffered, we have suffered, and we are still suffering from oh, we have uh, allegiance to these people. Therefore, even whatever you say is in favor of this party or that party. I think we uh, ask. Part of our democracy is that these things are bound to come. But as we move on and become stronger democracy, people will not take a, a very important view of whether it's this party or that party. Mm. All but right. I think the right thing must be done, whether it's entity or entity, it's not important. We appreciate your time this morning. That Dr. Isaac Owusu-Mensah is a political scientist with the University of Ghana. Mm. Well, mm. good initiative all in all. It also gives an insight into how powerful the media in terms yeah. of the medium on which uh, many of us work is. And so if you want to galvanize people for the right sources and the, for, for the right course, you would get some of those individuals to follow through with you on a certain course. And uh, we, have a, uh, we have this initiative being undertaken by Captain Smart as an individual. And it also shows what could be done by a lot more individuals and organizations if they want to embark on a certain course of action. Mm. And uh, ultimately, it is for a better cause. It's, it's also, I guess, dovetails into our motivation this morning about the choices that we make as individuals in our, in, in our lives. And every choice has a, a, a cause and effect. Yeah. It, it, it has an outcome. And uh, if you decided to collect monies that don't belong to you, at the end of the day, when it's discovered, it means you just have to face the consequences mm. in, in, mm. in some way, somewhat. Definitely. Uh, we're getting some messages uh, on our platform. Saint Jaffet in Sawem uh, is happy about what's happening today. Says the corruption issue has turned into a national kankan. You're saying kudos. Let all of us help in uh, the fight uh, to fight corruption or corrupted government officials thanks for that message we'll go back to uh, some very early messages that we received uh, today uh, this one says uh, okay this is on another issue that we're going to resurrect on monday right here on our show so maybe i should just uh, close the chapter on the messages for now let's make way for entertainment can see airtel mm, and becky will be around do stay home.